Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an essential tutorial for Windows 11 users. We'll be showing you how to extend your C drive without using any third-party software. This can be incredibly useful if you're running out of space on your system drive. I will also show you how to extend the drive using third-party software. So, let's dive right in. So I have the C drive and D drive. The easiest way to extend the C drive if you have a backup drive is to back up the contents of the D drive. Your drive might have a different letter, maybe E or F. Let me rename the drive so I don't confuse it with external drives that I might connect. I will now transfer the files to the external drive I just connected. First things first, let's check the current status of our drives. Open the Disk Management window. In the Disk Management window, you'll see a visual representation of all your drives. Here, you can see the partitions and their sizes. Make sure you have unallocated space available adjacent to your C drive. Since we have backed up the D drive, all we have to do is delete the D drive. After deleting the drive, right-click on your C drive and select Extend Volume. In the Extend Volume wizard, simply click Next. Select the unallocated space you created earlier and click Next again. Click Finish to confirm and apply the changes. As you can see, all the space is now allocated to the C drive. What you can now do is create a smaller D drive and later copy the contents you transferred to the external drive to the newly created D drive. Let us now create a new smaller drive right click on the C drive and then click on shrink volume. In the Shrink dialog box, you can enter the amount of space you want to free up. This will create unallocated space. I will create a D drive with 100 gigabytes of space. Open a calculator and multiply what of a number with 1024. Select the unallocated space and click on New Simple Volume. Click Next in the wizard. Click Next again. Wait for it to complete formatting. The new D drive is now created. You can now transfer your files to the new drive. Another method you can use if you don't have an external drive and you have enough space on the D drive or whatever drive you want to allocate space from is to create a new partition from it and then transfer files to the new partition. After doing that you can delete the drive and allocate the space to the C drive. So let us shrink drive D and create a new drive. I will create a 50 gigabytes drive E.
Right-click on the allocated space and then click on the new simple volume. The new Drive-E has now been created. You can now transfer files from Drive-D to Drive-E. After transferring the files you can now delete Drive-D and allocate the space to the C drive. Now, right-click on your C drive and select Extend Volume. In the Extend Volume wizard, simply click Next. Select the unallocated space you created earlier and click Next again. Click Finish to confirm and apply the changes. That is it. This is how you can use the Disk Management tool to extend the C drive in Windows 10 or 11. There is even a simpler way of doing this using a third-party tool like ESA's Partition Manager. Using a third-party tool to extend the C drive is not always necessary, and in many cases, Windows built-in disk management tool is perfectly capable of handling this task. However, there are a few scenarios where a third-party tool might be preferred. If the unallocated space you want to add to the C drive is not adjacent to it, the disk management tool may not be able to extend the partition. Some third-party tools have the ability to move partitions around to consolidate unallocated space. Third-party tools often come with additional features and options for managing partitions that might not be available in the disk management tool. This can be especially useful for power users or in complex scenarios. In certain specialized scenarios, such as dealing with specific types of partitions or file systems, a third-party tool might be better suited. Just click on Resize Stroke Move on the left. Like it says let us shrink some partition to create space to allocate to the C drive. Simply drag the dots from the head or tail to shrink the drive. I will shrink the drive to 80 gigabytes and allocate the 70 gigabytes to the C drive. Click on Execute on the bottom right to apply the changes. Click on Resize Stroke Move to extend the C drive. It automatically shows the unallocated space. Just drag the dot to the end of the unallocated space. That is it. Click on OK and then execute to apply the changes. As you can see it is quite easy using a third-party tool you can try out the software the link is in the description. And there you have it. You've successfully extended your C drive in Windows 11 or 10 without using any third-party software and also showed you how you can do it with third-party software.
Remember, always back up your important data before making any changes to your partitions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.